everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Sled Shed on 500 India 1. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about gas mileage. We put in the Holzman Temper Flow uh, the first episode and they're boasting an 8% increase in gas mileage. As most of the Polaris guys know, the XC models and the XTSP models weren't too good on gas mileage. But I read a few articles on stuff to improve that, and we're going to try some of them. We're going to see if they work. So, like I said, we already have the Holtzman in, and they're boasting an 8% increase in fuel mileage. And we're also going to put in a Speedworks clutch kit today. Um, from what I've read, the perfect setup is a Speedworks yellow spring and I believe 64 gram weights or close to it. So we ordered up a kit, I got one here, we're going to put that in. And it also said uh, about changing your jets to 410 mains, well with my Holtzman temp flow in there, I don't have to do that. It's going to do it for me, so I won't have to do that. So let's put the clutch kit in, and if we get some time, we're also going to talk about uh, snowmobile security. A lot of guys out on the snow now, you're going to start hearing about snowmobiles getting ripped off, people stealing them, people stealing trailers. So we're going to go over a little bit of some security items that I've picked up here and they're going to be in, so we'll, we'll put that towards the end of the video. So let's here get started. Speedworks clutch kit. Uh, what you're going to get is your choice of spring. And you're going to get four sets of weights that go with it. <clears throat> the uh, the weights that I got when I got it was for grass drag, so they're a little light. So we need to get as close to 64 grams as we can. So I'll show you here. These are nice to have. They're cheap little grain scale. Set it up for grams if you want. The closest one I have is 62. Yep. Between 62.3 and 62.5. So we're going to put the 62's in with our yellow spring and that should get our engagement down a little bit. I had it said it was like 4,500 for the grass drags so that should bring it down to four or between four and 3,500 so that'll help a little bit. So let's uh, put it in. Okay we're gonna do this with the clutch in the sled. Uh, some guys that want to do this might not have the, the clutch tool to get it, the clutch out so we're going to do it right in the sled. I already have the clutch torn apart, the spring is off, and our weights are out. But we're going to put everything back in. The way we do this, when it all goes back in, if you just do it the opposite way I'm doing it, that's the way it'll come out. So let's put our weights in.
Okay, now our weights are in. Now all we gotta do is uh, put a spring in. This is where it gets a little tricky, but you can do it. Now, there's an X right here, and there's an X here. You want to line those X's up. So, get this on here like this. And then, to squash it in, get it then we start running our little bolts in Fold up the rest of the way. And put our belt on. There you go. Clutch kit installed. So we'll uh, back this off, shut everything, and see what she kicks in at. Alright, it's going to get a little loud in here. Let's see where she kicks in at. Clutch kit installed, our RPMs engagement come down, and we're good for the trail. Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, what I want to talk about now is a little bit of security. Uh, we hear every year about somebody losing a sled or a trailer or a trailer in a sled that, you know, somebody rips it off and they're looking for it and you know nine chances out of ten when it's gone it's gone so to help protect from that there are a few things out there that you can get um, the first thing that I recommend is a tether switch not only is it safe but it also will deter somebody from taking your sled when you stop somewhere pull that off you know, it, it's going to take them a couple minutes, if, if they know how it works, to get under the hood and get those wires back together to where it'll start. And, you know, if you're somewhere in public and have the sled stopped and, you know, they got the, head, the hood up and they're looking, trying to get that wire, nine chances out of ten, somebody's going to stop and ask them if they need help. And, you know, <laughs> you're busted pretty much so, unless you're going to lie stone face to somebody. And uh, another thing, the throttle lock. Uh, I'll move the camera and show you guys how to put this on. It not only locks your throttle, but it locks your kill switch in the down position. So, you know, we're really going to have to gnaw on this to get it cut off. And by then, you should catch them. So, another thing I want to talk about, we're going to go outside. I'll. Uh, it just locks on your truck, locks on the trailer, and uh, a lock for the the hold down of your skis. And it, all that in conjunction with each other will help tremendously for you know trailer loss or sled loss. So let's get right to it. I'll move the camera and 
I'll show you how to put that on and then we'll go outside. Okay, now to make this bad boy fit on here, first you're going to have to modify your handlebars a little bit. Uh, this here used to come all the way around this plastic piece. Well, you have to cut that out and put this plate in, okay? And what's going to happen is, is this bar is going to clip in right in there, all right? So when you put this on, you want to go through here, pull this in as far as you can get it, pull it up on, you can put this blocker on, this here, move the camera just a little bit, there you go, and then you're going to slide your lock on, all right, now there ain't nobody getting that off, you know, and that means no electrics, no throttle. They're, they're pretty much so dead in the water until you come out, you know, and unlock this thing and pull it off. Just like that. All right. Now, put it all back together. And that there is small enough, you can put that in a pack, okay? I put it in my rear pack, and it lays back there until you want to use it. And, you know, if you, if you have any packs, I, don't, I wouldn't say, you know, you put it in a pants pocket or nothing, it won't fit in that. But, like I said, if you have that, it, somebody's going to have to beat on that thing, bend, pry, carry on, and somebody's going to catch it, one way or another. So, that's that. And I'll move the camera here and I'll show you that tether switch. Okay, tether switch. When this thing is out, it acts just like a key for those of you that don't know. Uh, me, and the, me and my wife use it all the time, even when we're riding. You know, most, most racers know of this four wheeler, dirt bike snowmobile most racers know about these if you don't know about them if you put this around your hand basically it's more or less for safety and you fall off the sled it shuts your sled off so your sled don't go flying any more than it really has to <laughs> uh, but also once this is out you can't start it the only way to get to it is you know under the hood wherever you run the wires you're gonna have to put those wires together the people that know about it, you know, okay, they're going to get at it. They know how to get to it. But they still got to get to it. And that's time. That's time you have that somebody's going to see them, you're going to see them, whatever. You know, and like I said, it's it's not only to, to keep your sled secure. It's also for your own safety when you're riding. If that throttle sticks open or something, you can pull it. Boom. You know, you don't have to worry about reaching down and grabbing the key to shut it off. Just yank your arm and the sled shuts off. So there's two, two devices for your sled. There are more. There's, there's track locks. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. But those are the two more inexpensive, easiest things to do. The tether switch, you can pick them up for 14 bucks off of eBay. That lock, that throttle lock, you can also get for, I think I picked it up for 12 bucks on eBay with the lock. Now that's, that's cheap security. So now we'll go outside and we'll go over some other locks for the yeah, trail. Now we're outside. Our first lock, what we're going to start with is your hitch lock. This lock is usually, you know, just a pin with, with a quick clip through it. Well now, you put this sucker on here, you know, they're not getting it out of there. There's no way. So that saves your hitch. Okay. Your next lock is your clevis lock. Okay. This sucker comes in here. I'm going to do it this way.
keep the sight on. Lock it. And somebody's got to cut that off to get that off of there. The next one, if if your trailer's unhooked, we got to hit. Uh, we got a tongue lock. Okay, this way nobody can back into this sucker and take off with it. And this thing, you know, there's there's many out there. You can use whichever one you want. I'm not brand specific. I'm not saying this one's better than another one. This is one I can get a hold of. Okay. Now this also works in conjunction with this lock. Get this out and it drops out. Put this back up in, shut it. And you're locked okay and then you put this one back in and pretty much so unless they put this trailer up on a flatbed they're not going anywhere with it just like that you're all locked up the last thing I want to talk about is and I don't have it all yet but Move the camera here and I'll show you. Okay, the last one is our ski lock. This little guy, for the money, isn't bad. And I, I need to get a lock for it yet, so you, you, you can have to use your imagination here just a little bit. When your skis are underneath, you run a lock through here, a four inch lock. Well, there's no way that they can turn this back and forth anymore. And there's no way that they can get that sled off of there. Unless, you know, they're going to have to cut the bars to get this off of there. There again, it's going to take them so long to do it that somebody's going to see them. Somebody's going to hear them. You're going to see them. Whatever. It's, it's not the fact that they're not able to get it at all. Okay? So, just some of them are good that they can't get them at all. But you're also going to get to the point where, okay... This guy is going to take 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour to get this cut off of here. He's either just going to leave it go, or you're going to catch him trying. So there's deterrence for you. And uh, like I said, this takes a four-inch lock. It was $12 on eBay. Uh, again, cheap insurance. You can't beat it. Okay, that's our show for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I apologize for it being so short. We've got some things going on here, and I promised you I'd get it in, so I got it in as quick as I could. Uh, the, the security items that I showed you, uh, there's hundreds out there on the market. Use your best judgment. Whatever you think is best for your application, go ahead and get it. You know, uh, This is just stuff that I picked up that I found, and it seems to work for us. Other things might work for other people. Uh, those guys out there on the trails now, keep those trail reports coming. We want to see a lot of trail reports this year. The more the better. The more we know where to go, the better off we all are. Uh, and for those of you that have snow, <laughs> great. We, we don't have any snow here. We're going to have to start traveling here pretty soon so I can uh, test this stuff out for you and get some more videos out. So uh, with that said, I'm 500 India 1. We'll see you out on the trail.